Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Cole from Cole and Jordan Studios here today, and I am showing you... I'm doing a review of an old game. Uh, it's from Wild Tangent, uh, just like Crystal Maze. If you watch Crystal Maze, then yeah, good stuff. Um, but I'm assuming if you've seen that, then you probably know what Final Draft Fury is. But I'm doing a review of it. Um, and we're gonna just jump in. I've actually been playing this for hours, and, um, by the way, I just painted them all black. There's only three cars, but, um, they're really good, and this is a really good game if, um, if you just want to do a little bit of racing on your computer, and you don't have a very good computer, even. I mean, I have a $200 graphics card, but this is running at, like, 180 frames per second while recording, and while it's not recording, it gets up to, like, 400, which, by the way, uh, 60 is really all your monitor will even put out. So, like, this is... I have a way overkill system for this game, in a sense, but, um... And also, this car is very overkill. I'm gonna play with this one because this is so fast it's very difficult to control um, but when I was a little kid I used to play this before I could even read I think I know Crystal Maze before I could even read but anyway we're talking about this um, I'm not sure I might have been able to read <laughs> but anyway uh, it, it's been a long long time and I actually remember this car to its exact specifications except for like upgrades with the engine but the visual upgrades um, it's all identical um, to how I had it years ago, but you don't care anyway, so, uh, we're gonna jump into a race, uh, let's just do a one lap race, um, here we go, so, it's really typical, I mean, it's just like any other racing game, really, it's a, you can do a one, or two, or three lap race, and the, the track will also go backwards, if you want it to, it's also one of the options, oh wow, this is a lot easier to perform stunts in, actually. I could probably make a lot more money with this car, because with the other one, I'm trying to upgrade it so that I can actually control it, because its engine will get it up to, like, it, it gets up to 300 miles an hour, 320, really quick. Uh, and you can see, like, if, if you were actually talking in real speed terms, it's probably going 60, 70 miles an hour right now, you know, maybe. Not 200. But it's fun anyway, and it's more specific that way. Um, and yeah, and you get money, as you can see, for performing stunts. But the reason it's difficult to make money with my really fast one is because that one doesn't... Um, it's so fast that you can't hardly pull off stunts, because, like, see this power slide I got right there? It's $500. Oh, it's gone. See, if you don't hold it for long enough without touching anything or crashing... Um, then it goes away. You can also chain them together, so if you have, like, two stunts, if you have a power slide, then a power slide, not only does it add those two up, but it multiplies them by two, and then it would do it by three if you had a third one, etc., but it doesn't have to even be the same type of stunt. So there's power slides, like that. <laughs> that wasn't even intentional. Uh, there's air. Let's see if I can get a little air. There's some air. And then there's big air and huge air, which you can get from just that lot bigger air and uh let's see what else you can pass people it gives you 200 um that's considered a stunt so i just got nine thousand dollars i got three thousand dollars for coming in first place all the cash that i earned was um six thousand nine hundred and three dollars well if i didn't come in first place not only would my reward be smaller but also you get a smaller percentage of that so if i'm in second place i only get 75 percent of the award um and if you're in third place, it's 50%, and fourth place, 25 I think that's how it is. Anyway, I haven't been in anything but first place for a long time, because I've been playing this a lot. Um, so anyway. Yeah. So, I mean, if you have a computer with a graphics card in this, you can probably run this game flawlessly. Um, yeah, and if you don't want to do the whole campaign stuff, I'm going to show you this just because it's so much fun. Um... Do it backwards. Is this backwards? I think this one's backwards. Tell me it's backwards. Yes, it is. Okay, just so I can show you that. It's actually more difficult going backwards. And you can see I'm already ahead of everyone. But, um... I got $800 for doing so. But this car is extremely hard to control. I guarantee it's going to flip out at some point. Um, 
Yes, I could try driving smoother, and I usually do. I do try letting off the accelerator, but it's very difficult. Um, because one, it's fun to go fast, and two, if you're still crashing and going really slow, it just kind of sucks. But anyway, um, dun, 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 come on. Oh, there's also uh, nitrous oxide boosters. Uh, you press control to use them, and those little pickup things recharge it. You can see right there. Uh, let's see. It goes down when you hold it. Um, and it basically just makes your needle move up faster. Oh, this is not going to end well. Oh, this is what I was talking about flipping out right here. Because it goes so fast. But I'm trying to make it so... I don't know if I can get the right kind of stuff in it, but if it's possible, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put every torque and transmission, every single thing in here to try to get it more controllable. But it, you kind of just have to let off the accelerator. This is actually pretty amazing. It's holding almost a constant um, 120 frames per second. Uh, at times like this, it's actually a 150. Um, but on the street, it's usually 140, 150 scratch the 120 but still that's ridiculously fast it's actually really cool um and yeah i have one more lap uh also i can only cross that red line right there because i have a certain upgrade and stuff like that um yeah you can just upgrade your cars let's actually get out of this race and i'll just show you uh in uh, i'm not gonna mess with that right now how do we get out of this So I'm going to jump right in here, and I'm going to show you. I have $25,000. I can upgrade it to... Oh, I can buy that transmission ship. So there. Ding. Now it has slightly better transmission. Um, I pretty much have everything. I can also get... You can get different colors, of course. Uh, I can't afford any. I actually own this one, so I can do that. Uh, let me just look at all the other ones. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> this is the first one. So, that's really all there is to this game. And, um, I hope you guys like this review. This has been Cole from Cole and Jordan Studios. If you like this video, leave a like below. Um, if you feel the need to comment, go ahead. If this video has under 2,000 views, I'll try to reply to it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Seems like the slower they are, the better they are, doesn't it?